buddies of Red Tail Lodge and I'm here today in Black Canyon campground in, just outside of Santa Fe, New Mexico and I'm going to talk about our custom kitchen that we put into our Van Do It van here in our Red Tail Lodge. Um, so I'll, we'll kind of walk you through that and what we did. Unfortunately we didn't get video of us actually building it because we were a little rushed that one week we had the van before we hit the road. Um, so I'll show it to you now, already installed, and kind of talk you through it. So let's go check it out. So the, we basically built two custom cabinet pieces for our van. The first one is um, a cabinet that holds our sink. And the other was a little stand that holds our refrigerator up on top. Now the Dometic refrigerator we bought from Van Do It. Um, but everything else in this cabinetry um, we made ourselves. Um, we already had a video um, showing how we made this cutting board insert for our sink and that's a nice little cover and kind of goes in there and it's actually nice to cut things up on in there. Um, and this is a 15 inch by 15 inch just standard sink that we installed and um, we found a nice little container that fits right down in there so we can store a lot of things in there and make use of that space when we're not using the sink. Um, so we made the cabinetry out of the birch plywood, which is the same material we built the versatile lagoon table, if you saw the video on that. Um, and I'll show a little bit of that later too because that's kind of part of our kitchen counter space. Um, the other main thing that kind of helps this kitchen be complete is this 30 inch hanging cabinet that we got from Van Do It. And it hooks into the tea track. And that's where we kind of store our Instant Pot. We've got electric tea kettle, all our um, bowls and plates and silverware and cooking utensils go in here. Plus it holds our paper towels and our, uh, and our dish towel. Um, so that really, makes this very compact and very convenient. So when we go to actually cook or use the sink, we just use the driver's seat since we're not driving at the time we're cooking or using the sink. So that just kind of stores there. And then um, as you can see, we made use of this surface here to put our little um, national park stickers on it. Um, now, if you notice, this door kind of sticks out I think it's four, I forget how many inches, four and a half inches deep. Um, so we left kind of a space down because the sink bowl comes down. Um, so we can't really get use that space back in there anyway. Um, but this made a nice area for our power strip, which is nice because our power outlet is actually behind this cabinet. So we brought it basically up front. This is really convenient, not only for our kitchen when we want to hook up our Instant Pot or our electric tea kettle or electric toothbrush. Um, it's actually very convenient when we're driving. The person in the passenger seat can actually reach back here and plug in a laptop or, you know, use this electrical strip from the passenger seat as well. Um, and also, um, if you look at this door, we closed it with a a window hinge, a window sash hinge or latch, so that keeps it closed from popping open when we're driving. And if you notice, the reason for making this door deep is we now have all these wonderful shelves. We can put our spices and our teas and our oils um, that we cook with, and that's very nice. And if you notice, um, this shelf here was a addition we made just this past week when we were home for a few days. Um, and that holds a lot of, we've got our oatmeal, raisins, dry milk, hand soap. Um, this is where we keep our waste basket. 
And if you notice, the sink is connected up to a gray water, a six gallon gray water tank. Um, this flexible hose makes it really easy to change. That just sticks down in the, in the thing, in the tank. And we can just pull this out, pull the gray water tank out, empty it, and then put it right back in. Um, so that really works out well. Um, if you notice, we have our water connections and that goes over to the um, fresh water tank in the back that Van Duet already um, hooks in and has coming up to the bench seats. And then we kind of really utilize the space. If you notice, the cabinet does not have a floor, so we utilized that whole space to put canned goods and uh, cereal and granola in there. We also have our some of our cooking um, supplies, our mixing bowls, strainer, measuring cups, and it all kind of wedges in there and it's not going anywhere when we're driving. Um, now what you can't really see is there's really not a back on this either. There's a couple boards going across for structure and what you can't see very well is using those boards we actually have um, bolts that go into a T-track. There's a T-track that runs along that back wall and so this cabinet is hooked in there with um, thumb screws. And so we can actually, when we're not traveling, pull this whole cabinet back out. And the same is true with the, um, the cabinet that the refrigerator is standing on top of. Now if we go over and look at that, um, this um, refrigerator is just sitting on top of basically a box. And these angle brackets help wedge it in there. And along with the sink cabinet and the bench seat, this isn't going anywhere. We actually had to remove the one handle on the fridge to get it to fit in there. So, there, so we do still have the handle for the other side, but we only, we only kept the one on while we're traveling. Um, so this um, cabinet down here is really, really convenient, more storage. We have our butane camping stove. We have um, our camping pots. I think there's aluminum foil back in there, Kleenex, uh, some um, wet wipes, and we actually have some chicken broth back in there. So we actually use a lot of that storage for a lot of our kitchen needs. Um, and also if we go back behind here, this is actually the top here to our lagoon table. It just kind of stores right there. Um, and then the legs to the lagoon table are back in here. And normally the cord to our Instapot isn't back there. <laughs> And then we put a board in here. If you notice that the, the stand, we actually have an extra little part that we store all our butane canisters in. And here you can hopefully somewhat see the thumb screws and how we're bolted into this T-track in the back. So this cabinet pops out as well when we're not traveling. And then just to show you, how this all goes together. I'm going to grab the base to the lagoon table and so you can see how um, we have really a lot of counter space for our kitchen. Let me go grab that from the back. Okay, so here's the base to our lagoon table. You see it's a little dirty. We've been using it quite a bit. Okay, so we lock this into where the um, bench seats normally go. Put that rug back over there. And then if I do it the right way, these lagoon sit back into the mounts, tighten up. And this goes in here. wonderful birch plywood top that Left Buddy made. 
And with the extenders, should tighten that up a little bit more. And there we have a nice table. So if you notice, I have a wonderful area to cook in. I can put the Instant Pot on here. I can be cutting up my vegetables. I can have access to my fridge. Um, I have access to all my supplies down here. My cooking utensils up there. A lot of times while I'm cooking, I'll actually prop this door open with the waste basket. I have all my spices, oils, canned goods, mixing bowls. And so this really makes a wonderful kitchen area. Um, and we have our little hand towel hanging here. Uh, so the only thing that we're a little unsure about is this, if you notice, this table isn't quite as uh, stable as we would like. So we're still thinking about how we can stiffen that up a little bit or maybe go with a little different system. Um, but other than that, we've really been happy with it. This is really a wonderful space to cook in considering how small of a vehicle this is. So uh, I think that's a pretty much all I had to show you about our kitchen and hopefully we'll have a couple more videos to go of um, how we organize the van and um, some of the other things we've done to customize it and uh, so click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future camper van project videos thanks for watching